Ooh, oh yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> We love all our question people. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, my name is Rowan. You spelled my name wrong, but it's fine. We can do all that. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it sounds a Jake. Uh, <laughs> uh, love the podcast. I mean, what, I, it's funny how people call it a podcast. Yeah, I, mean, I guess it makes sense. Because I have it on the background, I actually look it up for the yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, we had a lot of questions about turning into an actual podcast. I just, I can't be fucked to do more work. Honestly, there's websites to do that, where you just put a YouTube in and it comes out on audio. Just do that. Just I do just that. CBF, like, we, I literally don't have time. Yeah. Like, we already spend a lot of time on this. Yeah. Love the podcast, but I'm still catching up on all episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, me and my long-term partner have recently moved from a long-term monogamous relationship into non monogamy. Yay! It has been discussed for many years and we are very happy with most of it. However, I will struggle with I still struggle with feelings of inferiority and jealousy, everyone does, especially as I don't feel my partner has respected the rules, guidelines we agreed on when we started, namely clarity and discretion. Clarity and discretion. I uh, try to discuss with my partner how I feel about this, but often get a pushback saying, what does that really mean anyway? When I feel it was very clear to me. Any advice? We need to know what your fucking rules and guidelines are with your partner. Well, yeah, that's the thing. I kind of got excited about this question, but now I've read it out loud. I'm a bit like, this is kind of tricky because like, it sounds like someone is just being a dick and you're actually quite nice. It depends on what your rules are. It's really so, hard to say. So it's so tricky, for instance, like I, I, I have I've been in... Um, it kind of is a bit different because I've been polyamorous for years as such, but the way that we started polyamory years ago was under completely different rules than how things ended up as such. And and I can see, and that was mostly partial, mostly to me, mostly down to me actually, which is not a great look, I suppose. But I mean, again, everyone's happy, There's no, no one's hurt, everything's okay. Um, uh, but um, I can see why, like I said, like, I mean, I don't know. Why someone would be frustrated when um, there's a certain change in rules and you feel like only one partner is only like sticking to those, whereas the other one isn't as such? Well, yeah. I mean, to me, the like basic issue is communication. Like, when I had my first ever poly relationship, I was told straight off the bat, first shag, I'm poly, by the way. And I was like, oh, okay. And I read the article slot cover to cover, and I did all of the exercises and took all the like notes and guidelines and stuff. And then it turns out like. As you know, like different polys have different rules, and what makes sense on paper when you're like, this sounds like the perfect theoretical way we do it, well, you actually end up being the kind of guidelines that you stick to are vastly different from that. So, I would allow a partner some wiggle room in this in regarding to how it matters on practice if they communicated that to you and didn't just dismiss what you were saying is like a problem. Yeah, that's, that's the, the issue. point. It's like the whole like, what does that really mean anyway? That sounds like mm. gaslighting. Mm -hmm. It sounds like gaslighting. It's like, look, babes, but we're like, no, I'm not So, like, whatever issues you have with me, what? Well, you're not okay with being poly anymore? Yeah. Well, you just sound like you're being a dick. And I'm sorry, like, even if you're poly, you are allowed to bring up jealousy issues with your partner. It's 100%. not like a rule, like, oh, now I'm not allowed to be jealous anymore. No, bullshit. The point is that you work through the jealousy and that jealousy does not exclude the potentiality of your partner having another partner. Not that you just don't talk about jealousy. Also, like, just be, like, the fact that you're polyamorous or whatever, non monogamous, that doesn't feel at all, that doesn't mean at all that you don't have the senses of inferiority mm -hmm. and jealousy. Funny anecdote, it's not that funny, it's not even an anecdote, it's my actual life. But, um, <laughs> it's not funny, there's no an anecdote. <laughs> but, um, so I've been, as I say, kind of in a polyamorous relationship with someone uh, and f for years, and I've been the polyamorous one, whereas they were monogamous and such, but then down the line, years down the line, uh, they found someone, and it's, you know, been great, and they were, um, you know, kind of very open about it, and all of the stuff, but they found someone who has never heard of polyamory, has never really been engaged with it, and 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 they needed to be introduced i suppose to all the like lingo or whatever and then they saw me as someone like basically because i have been playing for years or whatever that's as someone that probably oh you know doesn't have any of those feelings you know if you're already with jealousy and like it was fascinating to, to kind of see how like my partner had to explain to their partner be like 
No, just because she's polyamorous and has been for years doesn't mean that she no. does not jealous or doesn't feel inferior or doesn't have all these insecurities. So you don't need to see her as this like mysterious someone that is just like all put together. She's polyamorous. That's it. She's got yeah. all of this and she doesn't have any of those feelings. Not immortal just like you are. And I have all those feelings. And and so anyone can do so. Basically, yeah, just because you've decided to be polyamorous and I have been for years um, that doesn't mean that you don't you just don't have those feelings nobody so does just not like, feel insecure about their partner at any time so doesn't it, it seems to me like you're beating yourself down over the fact that you are now non monogamous and yet you have those feelings like bullshit no it's down to your partner exactly but it's down to your partner to reassure you yeah. and it sounds to me like they're doing it or in a shitty way, or they're kind of pretty much not doing it. Yeah. Not to say that this doesn't happen in monogamous relationships, obviously. It totally does, but we're talking about poly right now. 100%. Like, because, like, yeah, we can talk about jealousy and insecurity and monogamy until whatever. the cows go home. But the point is, yeah, like, your partner is not respecting the rules because the rules of poly, I'm sorry, no matter what book you read or what guidelines you follow, include caring for your current partner's needs and, like, emotional state. And I don't mean molly, molly coddling. I mean. What is molly coddling? Molly coddling is, like, overbearing like care like mothering i guess in a way i mean is that like you know the daddy thing no no mothering and like um like patronizing the caring i guess okay yeah okay um sorry I'm, but, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry I was um just... well, what were they saying what were they saying what were they saying money calling money calling no but... it doesn't it doesn't mean money calling but it does mean if your partner partner is experiencing senses of jealousy, maybe that means you need to relook at the like contract you brought up. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe they just need need reassuring that they are a vital and important and loved part of your life. Maybe like I feel like your your fucking partner who's watching this, not you, to be honest. Make them because yeah, like they are not doing the work to make you feel loved and cared for. And if you feel like they're not obeying the degree, uh, the like terms of your agreement, then you need to sit down and either read term the terms. Or like make them realize that they're not speaking to them. It is not acceptable for them to blow your like concerns out the window of like totally. it's not a big deal or whatever. Because yeah, like you say, that is gaslighting. Hundred percent. And like you are still allowed to feel jealousy and insecurity in non monogamy. Hundred percent. Like you will never not. And that doesn't mean it's not valid. You know, you're not working and you're not good enough for being poly. There is no such thing as like, no. Ah. Yes. Why are you so angry? It makes me so angry. Yeah. And the thing is that like, people believe. And it's like, oh, okay, so, well, I guess I'm done now, and I'm mature now, so yeah, I can totally just bottle my yeah. feelings, I'm like, oh, you know, like, it's, like it's a maturity thing, that's such a thing. Oh, like, yeah, it's like, um, I'm mature now, hence, no. like, I don't, I won't feel those feelings. Fuck off. Fuck that. If you don't ever feel any insecurity in judging your partner, maybe you're just not into your partner. Well, or they're really, really good at reassuring you, to be fair. Yeah, and it's Yeah, good. really, yeah. it's not necessarily just down to that as such. Like, maybe they're just fucking great at, like, surrounding you and hugging you with their love and also okay what well, i will also say the the, the the example that i gave earlier about like you know um my partner's partner finding out that i also have these feelings was also due to the fact that my partner changed the way that we do polyamory mm -hmm. where I wasn't necessarily allowed for a while to meet them. Whereas the way that I do poly stuff is like everyone knows everyone, everyone's pals with everyone. Not even necessarily like I don't make them like be like besties or whatever, but you know, there's a certain amount of solidarity and understanding that everyone's going through a fucking weird yeah. time right now. And demystifying the other. 100%, exactly. Like, yeah, just being like the fear of the unknown, that's not a thing anymore. And so, yeah, oh god. Um, but but yeah, just basically get rid of the, that whole like, yeah, feeling that the other one is somehow more advanced than the feelings of like no jealousy or no inferiority, that sort of bullshit. So, um, so it's the, I think my partner actually took a, a more difficult route where, where we were kind of separated. In a way, I think that's what brought the, the tensions up. So if there's a way for you to meet the other uh, for you guys to establish that solidarity especially if it's like a if it's a, tri a tri not a triangle but if it's a one partner one person two partners thing you need to have a solidarity between you two you need to take the mick out of the third one you know what i mean you need to understand that you are just two people that are in love with one person but hopefully that person is giving you 
enough love back, you know, and that it's confusing for everyone involved. Of course, it's weird and confusing for everyone involved. Look at us, like, trying to completely defy any sort of, like, societal expectations of what, of, like, of what relationship is meant to be. Of course, it's full of hurdles. And fuck anyone that tells you otherwise. Fuck any person that goes, like, yeah, Polly is just, like, you know, where you're just, like, like, down yeah. with, like, just you know, you just like got rid of like that society. All. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which just like you know, you're not like the societal norm mm. that tells you that you should be just like with one person. You actually opened up. Yeah, someone that makes Polly seem edgy rather than just like run, the way in which they run. feel. Yeah, run from that. Yeah, straight up. It's not trendy. It's a way of like maneuvering relationships that's just as tricky and fraught and and rewarding as monogamy. Sure, but yeah, no better, no worse. And exactly what Rowan said. Anyone that makes makes it sound that it's some sort of like cooler or higher way of yeah. doing things, recognize that's absolute bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just trying to manipulate you. I guess I'm gonna focus on. Um, so they said, I don't feel like I can't have respect my rules, guidelines. It's namely clarity and discretion. Like obviously you haven't given us like info here. Yeah. But discretion, I understand. But I don't know whether you mean you wish they told you more or you wish they told you less because mm. again again yeah it comes all down to like you need to chat this through like if you just said to your partner like so we we agree on clarity and discretion what do you actually mean <laughs> what is clarity is clarity i'm going on a date or is clarity i've fallen in love or is clarity, or is clarity i've had sex like yeah well, clarity is like i am never going to mention them to you yeah and yeah and, and is discretion like I can't tell you where I'm going on Friday, yeah, or yeah. is or is discretion? Yeah, I went out with someone, but no biggie. Or this question, like I'm never gonna tell my friends or something. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Like, if you want to resubmit this question with more detail about what your guidelines are with your partner, and also what your communication strategies and agreements have been with your partner, it sounds like you haven't agreed to communication strategies, but you have agreed to guidelines, and I feel like that's just not a good model. So I've got this desperate face of, wait, are we out of wine? No. Oh? No. No. <laughs> See, this is a difficult relationship. Us and the a wine. dependent one. But it's us versus the wine. Yeah. The wine is not communicating to me how much wine they have left in the bottle, and I just don't feel like I can handle it right now. Sorry, we're not mocking you. We're mocking ourselves. Yeah, cool. Well, come on, like. Um, I, I would like to think that people that are sending us questions know, like, the brand at this point. Yeah. Yeah. If you're looking for like, you know, whatever, Guardian Agony on that just tells you to well, Mariella Frostrov. She's fucking terrible. I'm interested in hearing your views on that. Do you like her? I I am ambivalent. As in she's just, you know I've read her columns since I was ten. Fascinating. Because my mum always buys the um, the Guardian and Observer on the weekend. Okay, Is there any that? left? Top there is the Well okay, don't Okay, oh, let's have let's okay. let's get equal. Okay. okay. Um okay. I think a yeah, Elon, thanks for this. Come on. Okay, I just did it. Fuck it. Fuck so the thank you for the beer. And then the other person, we're not sure whether you'd be okay or not. I'm pretty sure the former yeah. has. Thank you for the booze. But yeah, I've read my because uh, my mom buys the Guardian and the Observer every weekend, so I always read the magazine because you know I'm a child. And so I've read her columns for fuck like fifteen years. I mean, it just seems. Basic, okay. Sometimes she's been harmful, and I can't draw to her memory now the time in which she was harmful. A lot of the time she's basic, yeah. Yeah. But sometimes she has like said things that are to me directly opposed to what they should do. But, I can't. but yeah, we're Wait, better than her. Anyway. If that like flea bag girl was able to turn her Edinburgh show into a BBC, but she's thing. posh as tips. Precisely, that's what I'm thinking. Like, surely this should be something along those lines. Yeah, but neither of us sound like Phoebe Waterbridge. We don't even have double barrel sardines, Mario. Any BBC producers watching? I'd be fine with Channel 4 as well. I'd be fine with like. Vice? ITV. I was thinking Vice should just like <laughs> buy us. ITV, no. You wouldn't be fine with ITV. Yeah, what's, the, what's, the, what's the line? No, they're just like really right wing. Actually? Yeah. Channel 4 is actually quite left wing. My parents say Channel 4 is now the, the one they watch instead yeah, of BBC. Yeah, same, same, same. Yeah. Anyways, okay, so I think we're drawing up yeah. conclusions here. Sorry, I just, I'd like to think that that that, that was as wide as we can go on that particular thing. Please Thank feel you. free to bring back with more information and yes. a more nuanced question because, yeah, we're working with what we've got, which is basically like, 
Polyamory is great, but it's not better than monogamy, but also you need rules and guidelines and communication and not be dicks to each other. But we also actually legit have experience in this. Yeah. That's why we are do like feel comfortable talking about this. Whereas you know, there are other questions where I no, I definitely don't feel Yeah, no, no, no. We both had poly relationships, particularly Marianne, we've had a lot of poly relationships, like we have both not that aware of the field. Well they sound that way, it's just like I've, I've, they've been a long time, years yeah. and years. Like this is not just like in and like in and no. out sort of thing. But that's what, what makes a relationship, not like I suck with lots of people. No, no. Not Which we also don't suck it up. <laughs> and on that note <laughs>